Welcome to Styling Your Lipstick. Today's video is going to be a super exciting video for me because we're going to be swatching, demoing, talking about the mother of all palettes and that is the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette. I'll give you a second to contain your excitement. Don't forget that if you make it to the end of this video, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Hit it! Let's just start off by saying that this palette is 125 damn dollars. Yes, I said 125 damn dollars. This palette is the uh, holy grail of all palettes. Let's pay homage to the package here because it does play a role in us determining whether it's going to lure us to look at the product in the first place. Pat McGrath is somebody that I've been following personally from a long time ago because I am an avid reader of these high fashion magazines that I've been looking at and reading since I was like in my early 20s. I know that her work has to do with stuff that you really see on the runway. It has an editorial look, hot pink with gold labeling on it. On the back it states the ingredients all in gold which looks beautiful for the life of me I cannot read it and I'm not even gonna try and strain my eye you can see that the girl herself here has an editorial look going on so gorgeous this is a packaging that I will definitely keep and it's actually to me a work of art and the fun it says Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 3 the subversive palette I mean look at this thing the packaging is stellar it's heavy it feels luxe it doesn't feel I mean it's plastic but it feels heavy so it gives it more of a luxe feel this palette is just opulent it's beautiful with this lacquered casing it's so sensual and a sexy badass freaking palette the front has this embossed labeling and a gold finish and Pat McGrath Labs has a sense of humor because in the back it says mothership use without caution shade throwing and eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use Open it up and you see what the beauty is all about. I used it for today's look and I can tell you that it's so freaking stunning. I really was intrigued to see what Pat McGrath, Miss Editorial Runway Makeup Du Jour Extravaganza will bring to the play and they're so prismatic, they're so beautiful, they're so shiny. They're like extra brilliant in colors and the colors are very distinctive. You have this creamy brown here that it's like chocolate milk. This is like a old gold, but like an old gold that was polished because it's like extra brilliant. It's foil. This black is probably the sickest black ever that I've come across in my collection. It's super pigmented. This color, it's lighter like sheer. I can take this black and top it off with this to give it a brilliant kaleidoscope holographic type of look this is not like let's say a neutral palette that you can use every day this is like to me like you're gonna party and you want to use this gorgeous palette the color on its own if you use a synthetic brush is brilliant it is super brilliant it's beautiful you can take your fingers and apply it over and the color payoff is like twofold i also try the technique of wetting the brush with a setting spray and the color payoff is also just a stunning there's a little bit of fallout in this. This is something that I needed to have in my collection because it is so stunning. This palette is freaking divine. I, it's so beautiful that I want to wear this like every freaking day. Even if I'm going to the store or if I'm going to walk my cat. But if you don't look at this and right off the bat say to yourself, Holy hot diggity damn color me happy you are some fly thing and you are beyond gorgeous if you don't say those things then this is just not for you <laughs> this is just my opinion i am so in love with this is ridiculous i feel like this blue 
all the other palettes in my collection as of this moment away even my fancy rihanna which if you haven't seen this video link it down below because i really like that palette as well now i was lucky enough to purchase two lipsticks because the lipsticks itself is 38 freaking dollars 38 dollars for a freaking lipstick okay pat mcgrath you did that you did that you did that you have the editorial alien-like type of girl there. You know she's Caucasian. I mean, why couldn't she be Latina? And this one is called Le Beige. But when I put this $38 on my lips, I was so thankful to have lips. This lipstick is ridiculously luxurious. The only thing that would have made this better is if it was toxic free. I probably killed it for most of you right now. <laughs> this is what I look for if you're gonna be a ridiculous amount. That there is a clear distinction between a $38 lipstick and a $20 lipstick. It's creamy, it's opulent, it's elegant, it's matte, but super comfortable. It's like velvet. There's no fragrance to this. And look at the packaging. Black and gold. It's ridiculous. Next color I ended up getting is called McNenemy. Isn't that a freaking cool name? It sounds like a name of a superhero in some type of movie, right? He could be my boyfriend. And my name could be McNemonis. McNemonis. McNemesis. 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 Try saying that three times. I've already sported this to death. I love it. It's stunning. The color is so rich. Screams winter and, and a glass of wine to me. Makes me want to wear dark clothes and big wild hair. Really clean face with beautiful highlighter little lashes and just a rich crimson freaking lip. I will catch you on my next video.